Okay, so what is a difficult conversation? I think we all know that. It's a conversation that we'd rather not have to have. But for most of us, as part of our jobs, we have to have these conversations sometimes. And regardless of how confident and assertive you are, all of us, we still found those moments where we're having to steal ourselves to have a conversation um, and get ready for it. So here are just three tips to help you with your challenging conversations. So the first one is about purpose. In your preparation, really thinking about what do I want to achieve from this conversation? What's the outcome that I'm looking for, for everyone involved? And then from there, work backwards to think about what's the message and the approach that's going to work for the other person. Rather than thinking, what do I want to say? Instead, flip it and think, what do they need to hear to get the best outcome from the conversation? So that's the first tip. Second tip is prepare but don't over prepare. So it's good to have thought through what you want to say, what questions you might want to ask, um, how they might respond and how you might deal with that. But don't be too rigid with it because, you know, it's a it's a, a living thing. Things don't always go how we plan. And so sometimes over preparation can limit um, our ability to flex in the moment. And if we do over prepare, then we can find ourselves talking ourselves out of it and taking too long. Sometimes you've just got to get in there and have the conversation sooner rather than later. And then the final one is about getting to the point. It's tempting when we are having a difficult conversation, delivering a difficult message, is to take our time leading up to it, you know, giving some feedback, sharing our thoughts, to ultimately hit them with the thing or the difficult message or the behavior change that we're looking for. Um, but they're just left hanging, guessing where we're going with this. So being upfront and being clear about what you want from somebody and then explaining why might be a better option. But whatever you decide, where you hit them with the thing, that message, do it based on what you think is best for them rather than what might be more comfortable for you. So there's some tips for you and your next difficult conversations. Good luck.